carried away with the stickers and the B6, so I had to do a lot of, bring a lot of stuff over to my classic, so I was so glad to have it. And this is the way it came out. But I'm excited to do a spread today because I have some new sticker paper that I'm super excited about because this paper got me going. I was like, oh my God, what kind of paper is that? I need that paper. And then I printed some kits on um, off of Etsy. <clears throat> So let's hop right into it. Um, the only thing is, I'm not digging this green, but let me see if my kits have some green in it and which one we should use. Now, this one has green in it, but I didn't use, um, hmm. I didn't use that new paper for this one. Let me see, let's check on the other one. Oh, this one does. Let's use this one. This is the new paper, so I'm going to use this one. This kit came from the Planner Shack. I want you all to be able to see that. The Planner Shack. And this is the premium matte paper. So I'm going to jump. Oh, let me go through the kit. I'm very sorry. So this is what the kit looks like. This kit was called, I think, Farming Farmers or Planting. I can't remember, but that's, this is what it looks like. I cut it on my uh, machine, my silhouette machine. You get the choice of four girls. But I noticed, no, that's my other kit. Yeah, the first lady, I might have to color her in. She's um, Caucasian, I want her to be brown. And this is the other one. Now there may be, I don't know if these lines belong there, but my machine, my printer, that's why I'm looking into a new printer. Um, sometimes it prints real wonky like and then I figured out, you'll see on my next video, on my last video, I figured out the cutting. Um, it kind of gets off if I switch in between cutting and trying to print. <clears throat> so that's what it looks like. So I'm not going to delay this video any longer. Let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is lay my date dots. My, well... My dates, I think. No, I'm not gonna be able to use my dates because that there, hmm. I'll just have to save this for something else. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get going. Okay, friends, so I wanted to basically come on and do a voiceover because I hardly ever get to really talk to you all while I'm planning. And this kit, I just loved it. I loved, of course, the paper that I printed it on. And it just came out so, so nice to me. Um, this kit, again, is from the Planner Shack. And, again, it was just such a pretty, pretty spread. And I was thinking by using this pretty spread that I would basically come in my classic more often because that pretty much was the case last week was that the spirit was so pretty that I just kept going in and looking at it and wanting to plan in it and I even like the way the paper the regular paper feels in the classic um I know that's a little off but I just love writing on that paper just as well so yeah this kit was so simple to use everything is there for you you know easy to line up and I just loved it so um, if you want to purchase this kit, you can go on Etsy and look up the Planner Shack. Again, I think this is called Farming, I think, or I'll have to look again. I can tell you uh, better. I could probably put it in the description box if I remember. But yeah, this kit was so pretty. I really, really enjoyed it. And again, that paper, I'm telling you all, that premium matte paper is the waterproof one. It is fabulous. And you can write on it and it's just perfect so i'll let you all watch a little bit of the video and i'll get back with you and we'll chat in a second
Okay, you guys, I wanted to come back real quick because I just thought about it um, as I was laying these boxes here that um, a video I did is coming out. It came out yesterday, last night. It's me planning in my Fobo Nucci, and I use pieces of this kit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I use pieces of this kit because there were so many options in this kit. I could have not possibly used this whole kit unless I filled up every square everything so some of the options in this kit allowed me to use it in my Fobonucci because the boxes were just a nice size for the Fobonucci it was small there were some medium ones and I still have uh, pieces of this kit left that I could use in another spread and I'm going to save this um, kit parts of this kit for another time it may be a year from now or what have you but I just like having options and being able to um, use a kit more than you know in one spread so yeah i again i really really enjoyed this kit that sticker is crooked but <laughs> um i believe i'm gonna fix that so yeah so i hope you guys are enjoying this video if you're new to my channel welcome and i love having you here um please hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i do upload videos so we will chat in a second bye Okay, you all, this is how it turned out. My battery's about to die, but I don't think I'm going to add any more thing. I want to leave room, and I still love the way this sticker kit feels. Ooh. Anyway, so some stickers are kind of crooked because this is not like my regular removable matte um, sticker paper, so it just wouldn't budge. So like once it was down, it was down, so they're a little crooked. But I wanted to try something different today, like decorate across here. I did cover up where I had put laundry. I don't know if it'll come back up. But pretty much this is it. I'll try to do an after the pin. Um, if not, this is what it looks like. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.